In this video, we will demonstrate how you can use webhooks to send data via Zapier by Bitform. Go to any form or create a new form to use the webhook. Now go to your Zapier dashboard and make a new zap. Search and select webhooks and continue to the next step. At first, config the webhooks to connect with Bitform as video instruction. Copy the generated URL and go to Bitform, Form Settings, Confirmations and Webhooks. Create a new hook, if not already, and paste the copied URL to the input field. Select the method to get, post, or as you want. Add URL parameter as key value pair to use in Zapier. In value, select the form field name to send as the Google Sheet value. Now to test if the webhook is connected, click on the test webhook button. As you can see, it is successfully determined. We will use Google Sheet as an example in this video. Set the action to be done in Google Sheet and config it. In values, select the names you set from Bitform at the initial test. Let's see if everything works properly. Click on Test and continue to activate the webhook. But before finishing, you have to make sure the webhook is all set to work in Bitform. If your form consists of only one webhook, you don't have to select it in conditional logics, but if you have multiple, then in conditional logics, you have to set which webhook to run. we have successfully triggered the workflow. Whenever the form is submitted, the Zapier workflow will trigger if it is active.